Okay, this is a quick guide on how to overclock uh, your graphics card and uh, just how to test uh, once you have overclocked to check that it's stable and check your temperatures. So first you want to get a program called MSI Afterburner. Uh, this is Softpedia link, I'll put it in the description. So you just download that. Uh, you need a NVIDIA or an ATR graphics card for this. And then it's got these options, voltage, clock, uh, core clock, shader clock and memory clock. Um, you don't want to touch your voltage to begin with because that's uh, if you're doing a big advanced overclock. So what you want to do is just go in uh, increments of 5 or 10 and uh, your core clock and your shader clock will be linked so you just take your core clock up 5 and your memory clock up 5 and apply and then check that's stable and then you can go further up until you see that it's not stable or it's not affecting performance uh, how you check the temperatures and the um, just to check that it's not um, the weather, how much it's affecting FPS and obviously the temperatures go to you want a program called Fermark. Uh, you can download it anywhere on the internet. It's some freeware, and there's a stability as well as a benchmark. So you can use the benchmark to test the FPS you're getting, how how much of an improvement it is. And if you go to stability test and click go, then it will run this test. Um, takes your uh, GPU usage to 100% using this and then it shows you temperatures so you can just check that your temperatures aren't going past a unsafe point. If they are going past an unsafe point then you can either down clock it a bit or you can go to settings in MSI, go to fan and enable user defined software and there you can change the way your uh, fan profile, the way your fan speeds up with temperature and if you do that, that will stop your um, graphics card overheating. Once once it gets to a certain temperature, you can put the fan speed up and then it will cool down. So yeah, this also shows FPS in here. So you'll be able to benchmark with this as well just to see if it's affecting your average FPS, which it shows there. And uh, once you get used to it and you know how far you can go, uh, if you increase your voltage a little bit, that will help you increase the other the clocks. It will give your graphics card more power to enable it to overclock a bit further. Uh, and obviously, most games now have benchmarking programs in them, so you can use those to benchmark just to see how much of a performance increase you're getting. Um, yeah. So, and if you post in the comments your graphics card and the clocks you managed to get then it will help other people. Okay, thanks for watching.